Hey there, this is my fountain pen everyday carry EDC video. A lot of people express interest in me doing such a video, so here we go. The first thing I'll show you is my fountain pen shoulder holster. It's very important to have a shoulder holster so you can just have easy access to your most important pen. You can just draw it, uncap it, point it at the ballpoint pen user and start writing. That's how this works. So you got the shoulder holster for your, your most important pen. It's like your main weapon. So you can immediately access that. See, that's very important. Also, it has to have a quick detached system so that you can um, detach it quickly. That's, that's really important. So you can just take it off. It's very important for an everyday carry system to have a quick detach system. So here you got the shoulder holster. That's what I always carry. Then I carry this lanyard, like, like a key cord, you know. And as you can see, it's actually by Caveco. So it's, it's really by a fountain pen brand. So this is a fountain pen EDC key cord like thing, which is cool because you got a two pen detach system. Again, you got the quick detach thing, so you can just, you know, pull it off when you're in a tight spot. You see, it, it operates really easily. So you can take it off, and then you got your pen. You got it straight away. So if you need it, you immediately have it. So that's really important. And you don't have one, but you have two. So you have, like, a backup, a backup pen system. So if your, your primary pen fails, you got a backup, and you see I, I actually got two on there, right? So you have two backup pens, so nothing can happen if you use this system. And also on this system is a little bottle of ink, so that if you run out of ink, you can immediately dip your pen in the bottle, use the converter, and you know, you can, you can tactically reload your pens, which is very important. Also on there is a carabiner, which is useless, but it, every EDC system's gotta have a carabiner, right? Okay, then another carabiner right there you see it that's a notebook so I'll, I'll just take it off it's it's uh, suspended from my trousers I'll show you here we go it's it's a notebook with a carabiner so you can just take it off and when you open it you got a notebook and you got another fountain pen so you can use it you see it's a really another great system you can take it off really easily but it's, it's, I really thought about that. So you got your fountain pen, and you got your notebook, and you're all set. But, what happens when you exit your office without any pens, and you're ambushed by your secretary with a bunch of forms that you have to sign right then and there? Well, for that, there's only one option. You forgot the shoulder holster, you took off the key cord, backup, 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 pen. And I got one right here. See that? Ankle holster. Ankle holster is very important. In that, I carry my backup, 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 backup pen, which is a Jean Pierre Lepine pen, and you're ready to go. So, with this EDC system, you're absolutely positively safe. Nothing can happen to you, and you're done. <laughs>
And this is Noodler's, um, what's it called, blue arrays, which is meant to be used on a whiteboard. I work at a university, I happen to teach, and usually when I enter the, the lecture halls, the, the whiteboard markers that are present are dried out, empty, whatever. So I just take this, I can just, you know, put this in my pocket, take it with me, and I got my own stuff. The other pen in there is another Platinum Preppy, also I drop a converted, and this one has a highlighter tip. And this is a Noodler's Dragon Catfish, which is just used for, you know, highlighting bits of text. Um, I always carry this. So I guess this concludes pretty much my everyday carry system. Now I have quite a couple of pens. I can't take them all, and why would I use just one? I mean, I use them all, I switch them around, and I put them in this. The four pen pouch. There is only one pen in here that I always carry. And that's the Noodler's Ahab. Now that may be a surprising choice, but I carry this for a couple of reasons. The first is that I converted it to eyedropper and it holds this much ink, which is multiple milliliters, which is really useful. You just have a lot of ink. If any of your pen, pens run out, you have a backup pen. I'm really using EDC terms here. Oh. Okay. Um, right. So, the backup pen. Uh, what I also like about this is, of course, it has a flex nib, which is just nice. If you want to write a short note to a colleague, you want to do it a bit flashy, you can use your flex nib. But if you don't apply any pressure, you have a fine slash medium-ish nib, uh, which is useful. Recently, someone told me he had to fill out a form, and uh, there were some, some of those narrow little you know, bands you, you could put your text in, and he only had some broad nibs with him. So then you're kind of screwed. Uh, I always have this, so I always at least have a fine nib in there. Also, I always fill this up with a black ink, so that I carry at least one neutral color. I mean, cyclamen pink is great, some greens are great, but sometimes you just want to write someone a note in a neutral ink color. Okay, then I have three other pens, and these switch around. I mean, they revolve. I just happen to have these in there. There is no true system to these, but generally speaking what I do is I carry one cheap pen, one more exclusive pen, and something else, whatever suits my fancy. The cheap pen I carry because they're cheap, and if I have to go anywhere during the day I can take it, if I lose it, of course I don't want to lose it, but if I do, I lost the cheap pen. The expensive pen I carry because Generally speaking, they have a nice gold nib or whatever, a nice smooth stainless steel nib. In any case, they probably have a very smooth nib. So if I have to do a lot of writing, I like to have at least one pen that is not that doesn't have too hard a nib, not too scratchy a nib, just a nice nib. So that's the expensive pen and the third one, the third slot in the, the pen pouch. Well, whatever suits my fancy, right? So right now in here I have an Auto F Spirit. I like the pen. A lot of people complain about Auto. I don't. I really like the brand. I, I like. I have two pens that buy the brand. I like it. This is the F Spirit. It's okay. It's cheap, but it's okay. Then I have the Miki Falcon, which is a bit more expensive. Um, so this would now be my expensive pen. It's. It happens to have another fine nib. I'll come back to that in a second. It's a semi flex nib. The only reason this is in is that I hadn't used it for a while. And I thought, let's put that in again, let's try it out again. And then there is a Waterman Karen gunmetal, contemporary gunmetal. Uh, I haven't reviewed this yet, but the review will be up soon. Be patient. Um, so that's a somewhat more expensive pen too. This has a medium nib. So that's my basic, you know, the, the, the basic way I, I choose my pens. A cheap one, an expensive one, and whatever. The other thing I try to take into account is nib size. As I just said, I don't want to carry three broad nibs at one time. I want to have some variation. So, in this case, I happen to have only a medium, a fine, and what we would probably consider to be extra fine. Usually, I would carry a fine nib. I don't have that many, but a finer nib. So, that could be a Waterman medium nib, or something like that. Maybe an Amiki Falcon. In any case, I always have the Ahab, so that's a fine nib. I would carry a broad nib, because I just like broader nibs. 
and that's it. Now usually my more expensive pens tend to have broader nibs, so it's it's kind of the two categories are mutually exclusive. That's the way I deal with it. So either cheaper, more expensive, or fine to more broad, and I try to connect the two, and that's the way I choose my pens. And that's all there's to it. That's my everyday carry. I don't carry fancy stuff. Uh, I have no specific magic formulas. I don't think a fountain pen is the number one survival tool. So when it comes to f you know everyday carry, probably some wiser options. But that's it. So I hope this was at least a little bit entertaining. It may have you know made you laugh a little. What I really want to know is what is your fountain pen everyday carry? Which pen do you always carry? Put a comment down below. I really want to know. I'm interested in what you guys use. How many do you carry? What pen types? Do you have a specific way to, to pick your everyday carry pens? Um, Etc. So I hope this was useful. hope it was a little entertaining. And see you later. Bye bye.